When you think about India, Bangladesh, and China, you think about great technological wonders and massive populations. But what is it that connects all three of those countries? The Tibetan Plateau. With all three of those countries depending heavily on the rivers spanning out of the region to supply water as well as electricity to their huge population, the Tibetan Plateau is a critical region to all three of those countries, and they would not function the same without it. Well, what if we told you that China was planning to control all of this by building the most important and powerful dam in the history of the planet? Welcome back to Mega Constructions. Deep in the Tibetan Plateau, China is planning to build the biggest hydroelectric plant we've ever seen. The dam is going to be so powerful that it could power the entirety of the UK for an entire year just by itself. It's insane to even think about the scale that we're talking about. Building major dams is nothing new for China. In fact, the country has around 87,000 existing dams already. They have redirected many of their existing rivers, as well as pulled off countless other miracles. Nothing, however, compares to what they are hoping to accomplish. Everything else pales in comparison, even the Three Gorges Dam. The insane Three Gorges Dam generates around 22.5 gigawatts of power, which is an insane number by itself. Now think about the fact that the new Super Dam is going to generate a whopping 60 gigawatts of power. We're not talking about powering cities or even entire countries. We're talking about enough power to supply billions. China aims to harness the largest river in Asia, the Yangtze River, the Yangtze River is approximately 6,300 kilometers long, making it not only the longest river in Asia, but also the third longest in the world. It stretches from the glaciers of the Tibetan Plateau in Qinghai to the East China Sea at Shanghai, passing through several of China's most populous and prosperous regions. Using this insane potential, China will be able to supply its entire population. The problem, however, with building the dam in this area is because of how remote this area is in the Tibetan Plateau. It is not a remote area for no reason. This area is prone to natural disasters, and it is an extremely tricky region. It is tricky to live in, build in, and even navigate in. On top of that, India and Bangladesh share the same river and the same region. But you see, China requires around 8,100 terawatts hour of electricity per year. To put that into perspective, that is around twice as much as the United States requires per year, or pretty much every other country combined. The motivation behind this dam is not purely for electricity and power. You see, the majority of China's power comes from burning coal, which is the dirtiest way known to man to generate electricity. That would also explain the insanely polluted skies of Beijing and multiple other places in China. China hopes to completely move on from coal and begin using renewable, clean resources for energy, hence the plan. Since the 1950s, China has been building dams left and right, and now, they hope to cap it off with the most insane one just yet. Let us focus more on the region where they are planning to do this to get a better idea of why. The Tibetan Plateau is nicknamed the Third Pole due to the ice caps and glaciers that are there. These ice caps melt and form countless rivers that branch out to a multitude of areas. The plateau is just dripping with rivers. Not only that, but the Tibetan Plateau also surrounds the largest agricultural areas in the entire world. China, India, and Bangladesh produce almost half of the world's farming, and they all rely heavily on the Tibetan water sources and fertile land. The region controls the water source for half the world's population and their food. If you control that area's water, you basically control half of the world. Now, going back to the fact that the region is extremely isolated, you'd be amazed to know that scientists are still discovering new species over there to this day. That is the region they're trying to tackle. I mean, there wasn't even an official road built there until 2013, so you can get the idea of how tricky building something like this super dam will be. Now keep in mind that there are many other hydropower facilities further up the rivers, but nothing can compare to the one they are trying to do. This is the dam to end all dams, the end game of it all. Now there must be something very special or something fishy going on because China is keeping all plans regarding their plans with this dam strictly confidential. No one really knows anything and not much has been shared except that there is a plan. Even the experts are left guessing as to what China is trying to accomplish. However, experts can still assume and speculate based on what they know. Most probably, the plan is to build a 40 kilometer long tunnel that will cut across the mountain and redirect the water allowing it to flow straight there downhill all the way downstream. There will be nine separate hydro plants that the water will flow through, and each will provide its own supply of electricity. 
It is also rumored that there will be another possible tunnel, this one being 50 kilometers in length, which will be easier to build to cut through the mountain in a less tricky region. The tunnel will hold an insane 2,000 cubic meters of water every second. That will generate 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year. To put that in comparison, the Three Gorges Dam generates 100 billion, which is insane by itself, but has now become secondary. Now, when we talk about this insane mega dam, you might think that it will be something gigantic, but actually that's not the case. The dam will be much smaller in size, unlike its name, but it will provide so much more than anything else they have. The idea of this dam is much different than that of the Three Gorges. The idea of the Three Gorges is that it is something extraordinary in size and they built something massive to create power. When it comes to the Super Dam, however, the idea is that nature is providing the power that's already there. The dam will just harness it from the environment and layout of the region. Now, although this is a much smaller dam, it will be much, much harder to build. Experts are saying that this is the riskiest and hardest project ever. The region is filled with earthquakes, historic disasters, and landslides. In smaller cases with smaller dams, one earthquake created a catastrophe and resulted in the death of many. Now, imagine an earthquake and a disaster after the dam has been built. It would be unthinkable the amount of damage and casualties that will result. The area is extremely problematic, that the rivers are regularly blocked, so much that you could see it from satellite. All this, however, is not going to scare away China, as the government has been recognizing the potential for this area for over 20 years. In fact, the plan to build the Superdam has been given a higher priority than their plan to go to the moon. The last obstacle that will face China in completing this project is the impact that it will have on its neighboring countries. The dam will negatively impact India and Bangladesh in so many ways. As they rely heavily on the fertile region and the running bodies of water, the dam will decrease the fertility of the regions by blocking off the sediment that flows through the water and reaches the farming land. There will be less sediment and less water flow, which will deteriorate their agriculture. On top of that, India is planning to respond to this plan by building their very own dam to store water so they aren't impacted as much. If they do this, then Bangladesh will be left in the mud. The situation doesn't need any more problems, as these countries already share tense and difficult political relations. With this water dispute, things can escalate to a whole other level. We've already seen many other countries that are willing to go to war over the rights of water. Take a look at the Egypt-Ethiopia case over the Nile River, for example. In the end, though, if China can pull this off without disrupting India, Bangladesh, or the environmental region, it will truly be one of the most impressive feats of all time. An achievement like that will rival going to the moon. That is everything for now. Do you think China will actually pull this off? How do you think India and Bangladesh will respond? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.